Good morning. It is roughly a few minutes till seven at this point in time. Um, I'm at the second bus stop, thankfully. I made it out of the house at like almost six this morning. Ten minutes, no, twenty minutes till six this morning. Managed to make it down the hill within ten minutes. Got there, waited another ten minutes for the bus to come. It did. I got on the bus and I'm here. So, so far so good. I know that it's been two days, give or take, since y'all have heard from me, and that's because I wasn't feeling it, y'all. I, I wasn't feeling it. That's the honest truth. And not because I didn't want to do this anymore, but because I wasn't feeling good. For my own personal reasons. But, I just wasn't feeling good, so I was like, you know what? Nope. I can't. I tried. I tried. Y'all, I tried to do a video for y'all the last two days. I took multiple takes of it, didn't like how it looked, didn't like what I said, so I said, you know what, scrap it. Not happening. So, happy Monday. <laughs> so this week, I want to work on not complaining about stuff as much, because I feel like all I really talk about here is, oh, I missed the bus, oh, this happened, all oh, that happened. While that's going to happen, and I know that not complaining about it isn't going to happen overnight, I want to at least try to be at least aware of it more. That way I can kind of think better, think of better wording to put there instead of, oh gosh, darn it, you know, the bus, I missed it. What is that? Oh, that's a bus. That's not the bus, but it's a bus. I got about 15-ish minutes before this bus comes. I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> I've got a beautiful sunrise right in front of me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm tired. I'll, I'll give you that. I, I feel like I did sleep a little enough. <laughs> but I'm still tired. And part of it could be because the weekend just didn't feel long enough. It didn't. It really didn't feel long enough. It was like two days just flew by. And I was looking forward to those two days. Been like, you know what? I got to work Saturday, but I'm going to take advantage of the day. I'm going to relax, do some chores, sleep. That's pretty much what I did this whole weekend, too. I, I got a little sleep. I slept for maybe an hour or two on Saturday. Because I know I was asleep when he came home from work. And then, yesterday, I tried to sleep, but it didn't happen until a little later. And even then, it wasn't enough sleep, so, you know, yeah, that's fun. But, all is good, you know, things are fine. I'll make it there. I'll just have to make up the time. So it may be, it may not be 9 o'clock when I go home. It could be a little after 9 o'clock. But that's fine because, you know, it takes me an hour to get home anyway. My only concern is, well, I may have to leave a little later today. Because I got to be back up here about 4. It's after noon. And it takes me an hour to get home. And I was thinking maybe I'd take a nap when I got home. But at the same time, I'm like, eh. Mm, we'll see. Whew. I'm not sure how that nap's going to take. <laughs> but I'm going to be optimistic about it. Keep my head up. Keep an eye on the time. Really pay attention. Because that's another thing I like. But nothing I can't improve on. Uh. I had a point here. I'm just going to see where the day takes me, see what happens, and go from there. So, and normally if I was on time and I left at 5, if I caught one of the 5 o'clock buses, I would have said, you know, I'll go home, I'll get home around 12, I mean 11, well, 10, 11 o'clock I'd get home, and then from there I'd get up at 12, 
get ready for work. We have to do it by at least 4.31 o'clock. didn't happen, but I got PB and J. Well, peanut butter. I got peanut butter. I really like peanut butter. So I'm excited for breakfast. That will be exciting. And I have a Dr. Pepper with me, so you know. Um, oh, if you're wondering, well, y'all don't know, but I'm going to tell you. Yesterday, a boyfriend challenged me to make my Dr. Pepper last all day. I actually didn't drink the remaining um, sips of my Dr. Pepper until 10.45. Well, he said that I had to wait till he had gotten home just to see how long I could go. Just a test. Uh, he decided to try to push it and extend it a little longer since I had completed the first task. <laughs> of making it last. There was not that much in it. Just like a small portion. But I'm proud of that portion. It tells me I have some self-control. A lot when it comes to Dr. Pepper. But some. Okay, I do have self-control. I just choose not to use it. It's Dr. Pepper. Well, that's honest. Y'all want me to be honest? That's, that's honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I'm de- Debating on when I should have my Dr. Pepper. If I should have it on my morning shift or in between my shift. Well, maybe not in between my shift. That's just stupid. I think I'll have it or um, in my afternoon shift. I'm thinking afternoon shift just because I know I'm going to want something sweet. And the Dr. Pepper is the closest thing I've got right now. It's that. So we'll see how that goes. Although. I could use a wake-up call. <laughs> so I may just have it early and just really take my time. Like I did yesterday. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, that's the update. You know, not a very eventful weekend. I just did some chores. I did what I wanted to do. And I slept. It's like a pretty good weekend to me, though. It was just really short. But it's Monday. Don't they say that like a, a short weekend makes the um, week go by faster? I don't know. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Maybe it's just me. That happens. Um, but that's the morning update for y'all. That's kind of y'all's two-day catch-up. <laughs> yeah, it's a weekend to catch up. Oh. Ah, the sun's starting to come up. You see the sunlight and like the reflection of a store window? Ooh. You know, that would be a good picture. I texted Jill and I said good morning to her and she's like, wow, you're up this early? I'm like, yeah, and I gotta work. <laughs> I gotta be there by 7 and I'm already missing that, but... No, she'll, I'll just make up the time while I'm there and it'll be a little past 9 o'clock but I'll make up that shift I'll make up that time that I missed this morning with her plus you know she's alright I know she's okay she's told me she'll be alright um, but that doesn't excuse the fact that I'm late that does not excuse the fact that I am late by two minutes Believe it or not, this bus is supposed to be here in nine minutes. That's right. The bus won't come till about 7.09. That's the next bus. But I should be seeing the sun in a few minutes. So 
maybe by then the sun will be blinding me. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'm going to leave it here. And I will see y'all later. I'll try to vlog again later. I don't know how well that's going to work. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Friday. Is it Friday? No. It was coming back. Thursday. No, that, I said right Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday, on the way back home, the bus was packed. Like, really packed. Like, people sitting next to you packed. I was pleasantly surprised by that. Because when you got on the bus, you know, there was nowhere to sit. Of course, I managed to spot a place in the... I just spit. Ugh, sorry, y'all. I managed to find a spot in the back and sat there, so that was good. I stayed there for most of the ride until the bus kind of, um, emptied a bit, so I actually got to a safe spot where I felt pretty good and a little less subconscious. But, oh, hi, Bruce. Otherwise, I don't know. That sounded weird. Anyways, I gotta go before I keep rambling. Bye!